Somebody suggested that I study Westboro Baptist doctrine. Indeed, I've came at the organization of Westboro Baptist Church from many different angles. Interestingly, doctrine hasn't been one of the most prevalent areas, though many people would see that as one of the first ones. I believe that's a great way to further broaden my understanding of the organization, so I think it's good advice. I checked out the book, Kelvin, Institutes of the Christian Religion 1, and I also checked out number 2. Kelvin, as hopefully we all know, is the founder of Calvinism, hence the name Calvinism, and Calvinism is the spiritual doctrine that Westboro Baptist Church follows. There's a lot in these institutes of the Christian religion. So where do you start? I said, I say I'll start somewhere. One thing that jumped right out at me was chapter 28. God uses the works of the ungodly and so bends their minds to carry out his judgments that he remains pure from every stain. That title alone says a whole lot. And that is the justification for what Westboro Baptist Church says. A lot of people think it's really wacky and mean and vicious to say, thank God for 9-11. Thank God. God sent the shooter. God is America's terrorist. But that's exactly what he's saying here. In so many words. They've just updated the message for the modern day. Calvin distinguishes between permission and will of God. Many Christians try to answer the question, why is there evil in the world if God is benevolent by saying we have free will and therefore God permits evil to occur. But Calvin says, no, we God wills everything. There is no free will. He doesn't permit. Everything is part of his plan. He even says that the killing of Christ was not permitted, but part of the plan. It was not just God permitting the Jews to kill Christ, but actual Christ killing. He makes emphasis on the Jews killing Christ. That's what Westboro Baptist Church says the Jews killed Christ. He even says when Satan does stuff, it is actually part of Christ's plan. He says Satan is subordinate to God, and Satan does what God does, because God wants Satan to do that. And he says when human beings do something, it's not because they're free will, but he calls it a secret judgment of God. And Kelvin has Bible verses for everything to justify his points.